you will soon learn my disdain for the UN and their partnering agencies. I just think that they are very nefarious, that they're very sneaky. Research into 5G's architecture reveals your mobile service could be maliciously used against you. New findings show 5G could be used to exploit your data and cause DDoS, distributed denial of service attacks through security flaws in the cellular networks. As with any disruptive technology, hackers and corporations will always look for ways to exploit it at the cost of you and your privacy. This is why I highly recommend Virtual Shield. Virtual Shield routes your data through encrypted virtual tunnels so hackers and advertisers or corporations can't trace you across the web. Virtual Shield is my favorite VPN because unlike other VPNs, they have a strict no log policy and there's no hidden fees. It's fast, secure, and easy to use and not intrusive. I have it installed on all of my devices. Get Virtual Shield for 50% off today by going to www.virtualshield.com slash Natalie Denise or by clicking the link below. Muchachos y muchachas, it was just yesterday where I published a video that really ran down some of these really intensified indoctrinations, agendas, things that are hitting kids at different facets and in different parts of their being, such as Blue's Clue shows, clothing, toys, everything being branded and, you know, just really shoved in their face. And, you know, we went through the examples of these lines being blurred very fast and it it's almost as if lately it's been intensified. Well, today I was brought to this article or this article was brought to my attention about UNICEF and they are advocating for children viewing porn. And this doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me. I did a video last year when I had my videos up, which, by the way, they are all fully uploaded on NatalieDenise.tv, free to watch. Uh, all you have to do is go to NatalieDenise.tv, press sign up. You don't have to sign up. Uh, they're actually located at the bottom. Eventually, I will have a membership um, in which I will do exclusive reporting, reporting that is not kosher on these type of platforms where it's just not allowed. So I've got to put it somewhere else. That's where it's going to live. So eventually, uh, probably in a day or two, I will announce the membership and uh, you'll get some exclusive content that um, will, is not allowed anywhere else. So but anyway, with that being said, you, you get all my vi old videos for free. You can go check those out right now. So back to it, back on track. The one that I'm talking about, I created last year. It's called uh, global sex ed or grooming. And this directly ties into exactly what we're going to talk about today. So jumping straight to it, this is a UNICEF report that was published. And this article actually came out a couple weeks ago. And it basically overviews that a UN agency. And now, if you watch that video that is linked in my description below, the one about the global sex ed or grooming, you will soon learn my disdain for the UN and their partnering agencies. I just think that they are very nefarious, that they're very sneaky and malicious, the way that they sneak in these indoctrinations and agendas into third world countries, into you know just uh, the most vulnerable populations on earth. And the way that they're trying to shape these these cultures and uh, not necessarily where these places actually are receptive to that sort of culture. Uh, so anyway, it, it's just very weird how they're trying to infiltrate these sort of uh, societies. And, you know, uh, the leftist agenda is always about like uh inclusivity and accepting cultures and, you know, all these things. But yet they're wanting to change the social fabric, the dynamic of these traditional cultures. And they're doing it through sex ed. So this is, uh, this is uh, again, not surprising to me because I uh, did my research last year and uh, this, this just seems to piggyback off of what I know. 
UNICEF report says pornography is not always harmful to children. Washington, D.C., an uh, UN agency is again immersed in controversy for a recent report suggesting there is no conclusive evidence that children exposed to pornography are harmed. That's bogus. The report published by the UN's Ch uh, Children's Fund UNICEF addresses how government policy can be used to protect children from harmful, abusive, and violent content online. Its conclusion is based on a European study of 19 EU countries that it found that most countries, most children who saw pornographic images were neither upset nor happy. In fact, what, how does, what, how does that have anything to do with harmful effects on a, a, either a happy or upset? This is insanity. It's not about them being happy or upset. It's about them being their 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 neurological pathways being affected by this sort of material. And in doing that, there are developmental stages within that. In fact, it says the report UNICEF relies on says 39% of Spanish children were happy after seeing pornography. So if they're happy or they're sad, like that's what you're basing this good or bad off. This is, am I taking crazy pills? It's not about happy or sad. This is about, this is about, again, their, the chemical makeup of their brain and how it gets developed. And when you introduce stuff like this, so perverse to children, it is willfully grooming them. I, it, there's no other way to say it. Porn fighters, they disagree with UNICEF data. UNICEF's report ignores a vast body of research demonstrating the harms of pornography to children. By ignoring the real harms pornography can have, UNICEF is playing roulette with children's health and safety, says Lisa Thompson, vice president and director of Research Institute and National Center of Child Sexual Exploitation. Thompson's organization, which provides expert research to inform policy decisions to end the sexual abuse and exploitation of women and children, has found that pornography can be a central driver of this abuse. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, there there are just so many, there's so many things that I can say to this. Uh, either, uh, number one, what I already mentioned with their the social, uh, I'm sorry, the chemistry, the construct of their developmental stages, uh, how, how their brain is developing at that very moment, that's, it's critical, you know, at the at the early ages of childhood, uh, that th this is the stage in which they are absorbing things, they are ingraining these things for their, you know, their future, for their long term future. And so when you're grooming these children to believe that porn is good, or it's accepted, and you know, perversion is good. It's like you are, this is what you you are ingraining these kids to believe. And not only that, you're conditioning them to um, be brought up into a society in which they think that this is normal. And it's not. This is not normal. Mainstream pornography contains horrific sexual abuse, rape, incest, racism, all of which children should not consume, continued uh, Thompson and UNICEF's mil milk toast assessment of impacts hardcore pornography on children does nothing to challenge the political narrative that pornography is benign and as a result puts children in harm's way. So I myself, again, this is something that does not surprise me by UNICEF. The sort of research that I did for this particular uh, video that I, I will have linked in my description below, it has everything to do with, the uh, again, these malicious agendas. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, yesterday, I, I you know, it, it, it actually ties in. Yesterday, I, I linked you guys to a New York Post article in which contained a video of the this sex education, how they're trying to teach masturbation that it's okay to do and all these things. And, you know, they're really doing this without the parent, uh, parental consent. And in UN, uh, it, I'm not sure that it was UNICEF. It was a, a UN or like a partnered agency that they they partner with that was actually deploying out this sort of material out to third world countries so you know not only did this material contain the okay and the head bow to go ahead like children should be able to masturbate or give some sort of sexual uh 
preferential consent, you know, something along the lines of that. Now, I'll be honest with you and straightforward. The way that they framed or the, they phrased these things in this sort of literature, it was very gray. It was very gray area. But that even in itself is really bad because they're not setting, you know, direct and concrete standards. No, you know, children are completely off limits. Like that should be it. It should be children are completely off limits and there's no sexual nothing. There's no da, da, da. what happens to them is unfortunately, you know, in a society where, you know, it is perverse and these things are again, it's a circle of life with this perversion. You know, these abusers, they then these they think this is normal. This is OK. They abuse these kids, you know, and then they're exposed to the sexual nature of our world and what happens is when you put plain gray areas where it like you can just interpret things however you want i mean you're going to be able to interpret how kids learn about the sexual natures of this word world and it just should not it shouldn't even be at that stage like if they're preteens and maybe it's like the birds and the bees talk maybe if if parents consent to that um but straight up telling kids like this is a normal thing to do do it you know without even consulting the parent um that's sneaky especially when you're doing this to third again countries that don't really they, they don't have this sort of programming they don't have this thing and they're just straight up doing it another example that i have from un a un partnered agency uh that is also featured in this video is they also deployed out this sort of it was a like a propaganda material making it okay for teenagers with HIV AIDS to have open sexual relations with each other. I'm not even kidding you. This was a UN agency uh, uh, literature that they were actually distributing out to African nations and it, it blew my mind. There's a lot in that video, so I encourage you to go watch that. So this is just to say that none of this really, it, it doesn't surprise me. This stuff is just piggybacking off of what I already know about the UN, which is why, you know, I, I just don't, I look at the UN sideways with anything that they do. Now, I'll also mention that a lot of statistics that are referenced in, you know, uh, articles or, you know, whatever statistical data, they actually utilize a lot of the UNICEF sourcing. So, you know, it's just, it's very unfortunate because, you know, the, these agencies that front to help people help children and do all these things, they put up these ideologies that enable children to get abused all over again. So this is what the rest of the article has to say. The 2020 EU Kids online study concluded that some children and young people intentionally seek out sexual content for a variety of reasons and seeing sexual images might also represent an opportunity to provide answers to questions about puberty and sexual identity. You, This is exactly why yesterday I was ranting about not opening children up to sexuality. Sexual identity has nothing to do with children right now. Children are at the vulnerable stages where they are, it is a critical time for them to develop the necessary skills, reading, writing, you know, social skills, just these basic things that are a lot of work for kids to learn. So then they're introducing this whole sexual identity and it's like they shouldn't even be there they shouldn't even be in that realm but this is where it's at this is this is exposing them even more to provide answers so they're basically vouching for children watching pornography so that way they can find answers and find their sexual identity can anybody say okay groomer this is grooming 101. The study encouraged seeing the nuances which lead children to seek out new visual sexual content online. UNICEF says any efforts to block children from accessing pornography online might infringe on their human rights. UNICEF bases this claim on an ex expansive interpretation of the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights. It's funny how they all have these weird covenants, these globalist sort of entities. Um, 
you know, just yesterday I, I spoke on my uh, IG live on Instagram to a citizen journalist by the name of Anthony, and he does a lot of b border news, you know, in uh, in the uh, I believe it's like West Texas. He covers all of that, and you know, uh, he went over this uh, sort of a covenant pact that they made on immigration. It was like this globalist thing. So, you know, with that being said, it's just weird to see this, this, these covenants and these pacts all over the world. Even, you know, I mentioned uh, the covenant of mayor, mayors. It's a whole climate change type of thing. But it's like when it boils all down to it's, it's all a globalist sort of agenda. UNICEF also claims that asking for age verification to access pornography online may deny children access to what it calls vital sexuality education. UNICEF is perverted. UNICEF is perverted. They're saying that you are denying children of their human rights because they want to learn about vital sexuality loca uh, education. Pornography. I mean, like, uh, sex ed is a completely different thing, I believe. Sex ed is a demon like it's a demonstrative uh, cause and effect type thing. Reproductive organs. This is what happens when that that you know what I mean. It's not like actual this like play on play stuff. And UNICEF is out here vouching for children to be able to do that. They're saying it's their right. UNICEF's release of this report comes just days after the U.S. Agency for International Development announced its renewal of its longstanding partnership with UNICEF, committing to an additional $300 million in direct program funding. The U.S. is UNICEF's largest government donor, with 2020 funding reaching almost $994 million in humanitarian and development programs. UNICEF generally has joined the feminist push at the United Nations cause for abortion. The Children's Agency was founded to help displace children after the Second World War. Critics say UNICEF is strayed from far from its founding vision and that it's this call for children's access to pornography under the guise of human rights and sex ed underscores this change. At one time, the Holy See stopped its annual symbolic donation to UNICEF. So, look, this is just, again, a, another, it's just another informative piece to let you know that th this is intensifying. This is, this is coming at us really fast. It's going, it's going at us at a global scale. It's going at, to us to a corporate scale. And it's, it's scary seeing it evolved from last year where it was just kind of like hush hush this is what we're doing this nations and you know sort of these these foreigners that are were blowing the whistle on this sort of stuff infiltrating their traditional culture and how they never asked for this you know again go watch that video it's really good it's linked in my description below and you know it, it evolved from something so hush hush and we're doing it under the table which is bad enough it's it's worse when it's sneaky but now where it's just full blown we're coming out with it your children need to be able to access porn it's their sexual right or human right blah 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 it's 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 insanity it's insanity so you know if you're a supporter of the UN i would really just recommend that you just take a step back and reevaluate what you're thinking because it's the UN is not what it portrays itself to be. People and and I know a lot of great people who are you know really great at heart who you know just have these really great ideas. You know I want to go speak at the UN and you know bring uh, forth these sort of. Um, uh, 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 combatants to human trafficking and things like that. And you know I sort of think in my head like you have no idea what you're getting yourself. You have no idea what this agency is all about. Um, but if you do a few deep searches into their literature, you read it for yourself, you start to see for yourself that the this agency is not what it is all posed to be. So muchachos y muchachas, that is the information piece about that uh, UNICEF, their recent report. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you surprised by this? Is uh, the U UN something that you, this agency, something you held up in your high thoughts? Is this, 
you know, uh, disappointing. It's um, eye opening for me because, you know, this is again, this is stuff that I, I was open to last year with the whole, you know, everything happening. And I just looked into the U.N. I saw their sexual literature towards kids and different nations, and I completely flipped my perspective and I don't trust them. So. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, it does keep me going. It helps me pay my rent and it does put food on my table. Uh, so I appreciate anything that you have uh, on your heart to give me. You can donate at nataliedenise.com slash donate or that link is and other links are in my description below. Thank you guys so much for your attention to this and I will catch you in the next video.